Carter Turner is the guy's name. Carter, I'm so sorry. I, I've been stalling trying to figure out where your information is. <laughs> no problem. I was going to introduce myself as Donald Trump. Maybe you didn't know the difference. I don't know. Well, you know, listen, this day, this day I, I would not be shocked if Donald Trump were to call a local radio station. So, all right. Yeah, here, that's absolutely true. Here is the, uh, the topic. A lot is going on. You're a political strategist, and... Um, uh, I would dare say everything you've practiced, everything you've learned, everything you've used over the years, you might as well just throw out the window right now because it, we're not following any uh, any classic recipe here. Do you agree with that? Yes, I definitely agree with that. So yeah. on foreign relations, uh, right now we're in a uh, we're in a to do with uh, with Mexico. Um, uh, who tweeted uh, the cancellation of the meeting first? Um, looks like Mexico did, but Donald Trump says it was mutual. They both decided we weren't, they weren't going to meet. It's over the wall. Meanwhile, this is totally overshadowing the fact that there is a, uh, there's a U.K. issue going on right now in the United States. Theresa May is in town. Right. What are your thoughts? Well, lots going on. Um, interesting that, uh, that, that it really is dealing with our, our closest allies, one geographically and, and the other you know, culturally, historically. Uh, but lots going on. Um, Trump is clearly trying to flex his muscle. Um, he, he's got room to do that right now. He certainly holds all the cards uh, in terms of uh, the relationship with Mexico. Uh, he's dealing with a president there that's not popular, uh, doesn't really have support back home to try to make any demands, uh, certainly not in a financial position to do yeah, it. So, yeah. um, you know, Trump's, Trump's establishing himself as the new sheriff. Uh, uh, you know, with with regards to Great Britain, they too are in a position that they really need Donald Trump. Uh, they, you know, as we know, leaving the European Union, uh, they're going to need trade agreements. And uh, so, they're, they're, I, I saw this metaphor recently it said that there's like someone who has sold their house and needs to find a new house to move into. And yeah. so, uh, the person selling them the house really does hold the card. So, interesting times for sure. And, uh, and and are we in a position where we really do hold all the cards? There is the Russian factor, and it looks like the president's going to be talking with Vladimir Putin over the weekend. Uh, in addition, you have China, which is, uh, which is a completely different uh, whole animal altogether. Um, uh, are, are, are we completely, is this really our opportunity to, to regain control? Well, that's the, really the million dollar question. I think we, we, we're not really sure how much Donald Trump can do on his own here. We don't really know what, how bound we are by, say, uh, WTO regulations, things like that. Um, I, I think as Trump has more conversations with our allies uh, throughout the world, uh, I, I would think that he w would have to take you know, pause here and slow down a little bit and consider uh, what the implications might be for some of these things. Um, you know, these, the world is a precarious place. I mean, it's, it's cliche to say that, but, but certainly the world economy very much is. And so as he starts to do these kinds of things, there really may be strong economic pushback against the United States. And you're right, we can't control the world economy our, ourselves. We're, we're part of a, a global network here. Yeah. And so uh, as those realities become clear and Americans begin to feel some of that economic blowback from some of this, then Trump may feel some pressure and, 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 and has to, you know, kind of back off some of this rhetoric. Yeah. But, uh, we can't do it on our own. There's no question about it. Uh, it is interesting. I, I've done uh, interviews in, uh, in London with uh, media members uh, of the media over there, and uh, it's all they're talking about. It is all they are talking about is President Donald Trump. And, you know, the Make America Great campaign slogan, uh, which has now become the the mantra for the uh, for the president uh, going in here to 2017. I think it makes people a little nervous. Yeah, well, I think so. Um, you know, they, they they realize that that their fate is is really in our hands. I mean, they, they cannot separate themselves from us uh, if we decide that we want to uh, invade a country or start to get aggressive militarily. There's going to be a lot of pressure for them to be supportive of that. Uh, obviously, our economies are tied. Uh, people are nervous, and people are nervous here, too. It's just, you know, the, the thing about Donald Trump, we all knew this, I think, going in, was he really didn't lay out where he was ideologically on a lot of issues. He yeah. danced around some. Some of his positions were contradictory. So we just don't have a sense of where he's going. 
we know he wants to fulfill campaign promises. You know, he's a guy that wants to be able to say, see, I, I unlike other politicians, yeah, did yeah. what I said. Uh, but we don't really know what's driving him. That's the source of the uneasiness, and it's it, it's real, and it should be real. Yeah. I mean, this could really get get bad fast. Uh, are you worried about the uh, some of the the people that uh, have surrounded him? Um, uh, Bannon, for instance, doing an interview with the New York Times yesterday, um, being very aggressive, and you know, a new sheriff in town. I mean, that's the message he's sending. And oh, by the way, telling the media to shut up. Literally, uh, yeah. that that was his quote: telling the media to just shut up. Um, yeah. Unprecedented, at the very least. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, it's like so many things going on right now, it's really interesting to see how this plays out. You know, in a way, the president doesn't need the media in the way that presidents have needed them in the past. He can he can drive a message, <clears throat> through, excuse me, through his own phone on Twitter uh, in ways that presidents haven't been able to do historically. Um, but still, you know, the, the, the press, there's a reason why the freedom of the press is, is in the Constitution. It's an important component of democracy. These are the people who are supposed to be looking over the shoulder of our leaders, scrutinizing decisions, and making sure that we're all informed. When you delegitimate the press, and he's done a lot of that, uh, it, it really does destabilize the, the country. Um, yeah. You know, I, obviously there need to be questions about fairness by the press and making sure the press is reporting things accurately, but to have these wide spread, you know, broad brush generalizations about the press needing to shut up or go away, let us do our job. That's really dangerous. We need to have the press. We absolutely need to have the press. Uh, so I, I, I think Bannon, you know, he, he <laughs> a lot of people are worried about Bannon. And uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're not surprised to hear him say those kinds of things. But, yeah. uh, but it's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable times right now. Political strategist Carter Turner from Fox News. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and uh, have a great day, great weekend. Um, again, that's uh, Carter Turner from the very liberal uh, Fox News. Uh, so before you call up and, and yell at me for being this liberal whack job, uh, these are all coming from Fox News. These are all Fox guests, people. Um, these are not, uh, I'm not going to MSNBC. We're not trying to find some of uh, the reporters from the New Yorker, uh, New York Times. These are Fox News guests and reporters that we speak with um, that, uh, have concern. So don't get your panties up in a, what, what's the, uh, well, in a bunch, seen. in a bunch. Don't, <laughs> uh, don't, uh, don't go down that road. Um, interesting times. That's all I can say.